That needs a little bit of repairing there. Actually, a lot of bit of repairing. In fact, I might even upgrade that one to steel, too. Okay. All right, now. Now we got to get the fence posts um, connected on the other end. And then what I'll probably end up doing is <clears throat> putting in a shield that attaches to this wall. So we're not putting the weight on this because it's already, you know, out there quite a ways. And bring it out to protect the fence post. But I don't have enough concrete blocks on me to do that right this moment. So, um, now sticking with our <clears throat> five blocks away... That means we want to go, okay, so it's actually six blocks, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six and seven. All right, so that means one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So right here, I believe is, here, let me count it with this just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay. And the cool thing about this is, you know, there's there's further blocks further out, so it's already protected, the posts are. So we're good to go there. All right, now we want to put a post in there and, um, oh, wait. We need to go. We need to take this one out. I guess I should have just done that in the first place, but I didn't. I was thinking I could get sneak it under there. You thirsty? Probably from taking that steroid, huh? All right, and then this post can go there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, that doesn't need to be. That can be patched back up, but we'll just put a wood block there for now. All right, let's uh, get some. Let's actually take some of this because that's gonna give us. Quite a bit of hydrate. Well, not quite a bit. A little bit of hydration. And we'll take a water on top of it. Good stuff. All right. Now, the next thing is our Jenny. And, of course, we want that tucked away in a safe spot so it doesn't get hit by cop spit, buzzard spit, demolisher explosions, etc. So why don't we put the Jenny maybe back in here? Um... We could put it in this corner, but I have had boss vultures come from that direction. Yeah, this would probably be a nice, safe little spot for it right here. Right here, inside the elevator shaft. I should at least upgrade those to wood so I don't accidentally pick them up. <laughs> I can see myself doing that. You guys are shaking your head. Yep, we can see you doing that. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's put the generator in here. Um. If we do an on face, that is an on face. I mean, it doesn't really matter what direction it's facing, but kind of want it to be like this. Uh. And do we want it on that level? Doesn't really matter a whole bunch, I guess. We could put it even down a level. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to definitely need a relay to get over there. Let's jump down onto here. And grab a couple of relays. Trying to decide if I want to use a switch for this setup or not, or just turn the generator on when the time comes. Um, okay, let's. We never actually looted that. What do you know? 
So the Ginny is inside here. Oh, yeah. We could put the uh, relay right there. But I think it's more like right there. Something like that. You don't have any scrap. Oh. Oh, Undead Legacy requires us to have scrap wire and everything. How cool is that? That's the way it should be. <laughs> we don't have any magical appearing wire anymore. All right. I approve. Even though that's a pain in the ass because now we have to go back to the, the base to get it. <laughs> All right. Where the heck is, what's her name? That doggone robot. Um... She's like completely borked. All right, let's grab our stuff here. Um, do I have any kind of a storage here? Oh yeah, I do. I've got these storages. I'm just trying to drop. I want to drop a few things off, so I can bring you know have more weight to bring more stuff back. Okay, so let's uh, drop off all of this. Um, let's drop off the fuel. We want to keep that. We're going to bring some more concrete blocks over. Put the switch there. That we can just take back to the base because this is all stuff we're still needing to use. Put the relay there. Put those there. This we need to repair. And I think we can take the rest of this back to the base. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to the base, get some more blocks, a few more resources, and some wire so we can wire these up. Okay, none of that stuff needs to stay in there. You still have quite a bit of concrete. Um, I actually want to take some of this from you, though, so I can make some more blocks. I think 200, <clears throat> is it five or 10? I don't remember here. We'll just take that with us. Um, I couldn't remember if it takes five concrete or 10 to make a, a block. So we'll find out. And wire, we're here to get a wire. Don't want to forget the wire, man. Okay, so let's grab the scrap wire. We have that with us. We want to make some more, or actually, yeah. I made a bunch of blocks already, didn't I? I sure did. Look at that. Let's take those 40 blocks with us. <clears throat> and we'll just put that stuff back in there. We put all that in there. The nails can go in there. Uh, we wanted to make some titanium plates, so... That requires, what does that require? Two ingots. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I have, we had some scrap that we left over there. Let's just turn, how much scrap do we get from one piece of titanium? I know I should check this. Okay, we get five, that's not bad actually. Um, what am I doing? Uh, back in here. So, what I want to do is... Sorry, guys. I'm... I'm just trying to think here. Um, how many ingots can we make? Titanium ingot. We can make a total of... That's a one-to-one? -one? Oh, nice! Really? That's a one-to-one -one ratio. I love it. Okay. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to turn all of this into ingots though, because we still need some of the ore to make scrap. Let's make. 
Let's make a hundred. Okay. And then we'll turn those into scraps. So that should our plates, I'm sorry. So that should give us 50 plates. Right, okay. Put those in there. Put these in there. That can go in there. And oil. What am I doing with oil? That's probably in here too. Let's repair our this this thingy. All systems go. How may I help? Okay, that's done. Now, I want to grab some more uh steel Oh, we don't have any more steel plates made up, do we? But we have steel ingots. Okay, let's make some more steel plating. We can make a total of 123. Let's make 100 more. So I do want to hang on to some ink, a few ingots, because we need those for a couple of things. What, what do we need those for again? Recipes. Yeah, I've had to make gears a couple times, and I've had to make rebar for a few things, too. I haven't really had to make steel hinges, but we might at some point. So, yeah, let's not burn up all of the ingots. Okay. Good. So, we're just waiting for this, and waiting for... Uh, and then we have to put those in here to make the plates before we go back. So I'm going to get all that done, and then I'll meet you guys back over at the Horde base. All right. Is this stupid thing working now? Testing. One, two, three. This is a recording test. One, two, three. All right, guys. Uh, I have some unfortunate news for you. Um, that being that I lost about 40 minutes of footage that I uh, recorded uh, in OBS, but when I stopped the recording, OBS did not finalize the video. It just it basically crashed at that point, and um, I tried to, well, I, I ended up just rebooting my whole machine because I was having some other weird stuff going on too. And I tried to remux the file, and I tried to throw it into handbrake, and uh, there's nothing I could do to recover it. So uh, we're just going to, I'm just going to have to show you what happened um you know during that time i apologize it really sucks but i mean obs is usually pretty solid i don't usually have a lot of trouble with it but this time around for whatever reason maybe it wasn't even obs maybe it was windows or something else but um I'm, okay so i'm trying to remember what we did last i think okay so i went back to the base as i recall looks like i've got a broken leg too and so i got uh, I put a compact engine in there, uh, which gives us up to 50 watts, but we're only drawing 3 watts of power. And then I put a couple extra engines in there if we need them for later. So we did that. Um, I set up on the outside here. Quit your whining. Here, let's uh, give you one of these. Um, another relay. So there's one... Here, let's go down this way. Okay. So there's another relay, that's the one that's right on the other side of the generator, then I put another one up there and then ran this cable across here to this switch. I did decide to put a switch in um, and then, you know, wired everything up here on these fence posts. Uh, I then put like a little shelter uh, thingy there for, uh, you know, to kind of just help protect the switch. Uh, I put, I started putting some blocks here, but I got a little bit concerned that we might be putting too much weight on this extension out here um, so I just decided to leave those in place for now and just see how things go I mean these are far enough away from a demo explosion there's six blocks out demo explosions five block radius um, actually wait a minute no you know what yeah that's right yeah five block radius so they're safe from demo explosions um it's not likely 
you know, cop spit or buzzard spit would hit out here because I'm not going to be standing here, obviously, during the horde night. So they'll probably be fine, but I just didn't want to overdo it and risk collapsing this whole thing because it was very expensive to build, right? Um, and then I, I blocked this off because I can actually reach the turret from here and set it back down from here. So this doesn't need to be here at all, just to block off, uh, further block that off from zombies or discouraging zombies from thinking that there's potentially a path to get to us. All right, and then uh, we put I put some rails in here and upgraded those to steel, so that way when I'm you know, jumping up here to shoot down in there. I'm not accidentally going too far or, you know, run into a, a lag spike, which happens a lot here in the wasteland and on Horde Night and accidentally bail off the edge of the building. But I wanted to leave this open so I could still go out onto that platform if I needed to to repair something or whatever. Uh, okay, and then the, the fences do work. We did test those, so there we go. Out. <laughs> uh, so that was that was tested. Uh, but the reason I put the switch there is because I, the fences are actually running all the way across here. And if, if, if I wanted to jump up here, I'm going to zap myself, right? So um, I, I put the switch there to turn them off if I wanted to jump up here. Now, I don't spend a lot of time up here during the Horde Night anyways. It's kind of not a good idea for me to be up here because, you know, coughs will then spit straight up here and cause more damage. Uh, but I do have the option of getting up there if I need to um, by turning, you know, turning that off. Okay, so then what we did, let's see, what else did we do? We got, uh, I got these first five ladders upgraded to titanium. Um, this here, Zombo. They look, they look exactly, visibly, they look exactly like the steel ladders, but these are actually titanium ladders. Um, and you, you can tell that because it's got 15,000 hit points. Um... Whereas the steel ladders only have 2,000. Now, I kept these ladders down here steel, and as you can see, they have 2,000 hit points, even though they look exactly the same. Uh, but then I upgraded um, these two to titanium, and um, this one I will get upgraded to titanium, but as you can see, I'm out of plates. I wanted to do the, the three ladders up from the, the bottom here, too, just because uh, these will sometimes take some damage with all the zombies that congregate down at the bottom of this. So we did that. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I, I brought this all the way down, five blocks down, um, you know, to strengthen all of this up here. I repaired all of the rest of the concrete there. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, so what's what needs to happen now is I need to go out and mine some more titanium so I can finish upgrading. I, I'm probably gonna, we're gonna probably upgrade this entire enclosure um, to titanium eventually. Whether or not we'll get that done by Horde 91, I'm not really sure. It depends on how much titanium I can get. Uh, but eventually this whole thing's going to be titanium, and maybe even some of this out here will be too, uh, just to protect from demo explosions more than anything else. Uh, but otherwise, I'm feeling pretty good about this um, this upgrade. This is going to this is a significant upgrade for two reasons. We got the electric fences now, which are going to not only cause damage to the zombies, but they're going to stun them, which means they're going to be doing less damage to our base, and we've increased the strength of the base significantly. So the hit points on a titanium block are 15,000 versus 10, 10, yeah, 10,000. Um, so, uh, you know, pretty significant increase in just the overall toughness of the base. We made things a little safer for us over here with this rail system. And I think, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a really nice, successful horde night. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to really do anything right now to protect those it's so unlikely that that's going to take damage anyways not impossible but not likely we'll just see how things go i mean they're going to take durability damage what i mean is you know take like vulture spit damage which is about the only thing that really could get to them uh, if we had a bo boss vulture coming in from there and we happen to be standing here right but we'll see how that goes if, if it looks like that is a problem then we'll adjust accordingly but we're, i think this is what we're going to go with on the horde night aside from like i said again upgrading more of these blocks to titanium and that ladder down below before things start. Now, there's one other thing that I mentioned in the rec in the recording that I lost that I'm going to mention again, and that is that um, one of you guys mentioned uh, or suggested in the comments or told me that you do this in your game, I can't remember, but it was a super good comment. You said you take a second turret and you put it far enough away from the first turret to deactivate that one 
and then you set it down and you use that for buzzard control. And I thought that was a fantastic idea. So I'm going to do the same thing. I've got, I got a couple, two or three junk turrets, I think, back at the base. So we're going to grab a junk turret, bring it out here, and just maybe stick it in this corner here. So, you know, when buzzards come in, we just have to get far enough away from the sludge turret to deactivate it. And then this one will activate and it'll help us, you know, take out any buzzards that are coming in. So that was a really fantastic um, uh, comment. So thank you to the viewer who uh, who made that comment. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember off the top of my head who, who it was, uh, but you know who you are and really appreciate it. Uh, that was just a fantastic idea. So let's uh, put a, a concrete block back in there. So yeah, I think we're done, you guys, with uh, with everything we need to do other than, like I said, just getting the, a few more blocks upgraded to titanium here. And we should have uh, make a good showing on the horde nine. I'm very excited, you know, to to start using the electric fences. Let's let's actually uh, turn this off for now. We're just wasting fuel, but yeah, that should go really well. Um, all right, let's see here. I'm gonna leave some extra concrete here. Maybe a little bit of plating and a little bit of steel. I don't think we need anything else. Let's leave a little bit of wire here just in case we need to redo some repairs. And I've got extra wire tools back at the base, so I'll leave that there. Oh, I was gonna Um I was gonna put this light down too, just so we have a little more light on the horde night. Maybe we could put it. I mean, if a demo explodes, we're probably gonna lose the light, but I mean I've got plenty of them. They're not that hard to replace. So why don't we put a light there, too, so we have a little more light on Horde Night. Yeah, I like that idea. I think that'll work just fine. Just fine indeed. All right, guys. Well, again, I'm sorry that we lost that footage. It really sucked. Um, but it is what it is. Sometimes it happens and you move on, right? Uh, but I'm going to let you go here. And uh, in the next episode, I think what we will do is we're going to go back out into the wasteland. And we're going to scavenge and... Uh, look, and specifically, our, our primary goal is going to be to mine as many of the titanium nodes as we can. But we'll also check cars. We'll probably do a little more salvaging. You know, we'll, obviously, we'll have zombies to fight off and stuff like that, too. But our main goal is to is to, to get as much titanium. Now, I can also mine the titanium, and I probably will mine it down below. But, you know, we can kind of accomplish a little bit more, you know, you know, through salvaging and looting if we get, get some of the the surface nodes uh too plus it'll be fun you know that's really kind of the main thing uh we want to have fun so that's the plan for the next episode guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you comment share the video and we will catch you in the next episode oh my gosh i hope this recording doesn't screw up bye